The emergence of power-efficient high-performance processors has created a bright spot in the desktop PC market. The ultra-compact form factor UCFF, heralded by the Intel nukes has experienced rapid growth over the past few years. Gigabyte, with their BRICS lineup, was one of the first vendors to introduce Nuke clones. They went beyond the traditional Intel modules and provided plenty of choices to the end users. Gigabyte has also kept up with Intel's release cadence and updated the BRICS lineup after the launch of new U-series CPUs. Today, we are taking a look at the GBK7 Ha 7500, a BRICS based on the KB Lake Core i7-7500U with support for a 2.5 inches drive, and sporting an AS Media Bridge chip for USB 3.1 Gen 2 support. The KB Lake U platform for mini PCs has proved to be a simple one for OEMs with existing Skylake U mini PCs in their lineup. Given the pin compatibility, the vendors only needed to put in some BIOS support before swapping the Skylake U package for a KB Lake U1. We have already covered the advantages of KB Lake over Sky Lake for mini PCs, such as 4K Netflix and improved Burf, Watt, in earlier reviews. A look at the Gigabyte Bricks listings shows more than 20 different Sky Lake U units, models starting with GBBS. Given that KB Lake doesn't provide a great deal of benefit over Skylake for many use cases, Gigabyte has decided to only selectively update the comprehensive lineup. The format changes for KB Lake, with the BS being replaced by BK. The CPU in the SKU can be determined using the core series identifier. For example, our review sample, the GBK7 Ha 7500 has the Intel Core i7-7500U. The other parts of the model number are optional. For example, in the Skylake series, we have the GBBS 76500, which is essentially a Skylake U nuke clone with no bells and whistle, but, just sporting a CPU option that the Intel nuke lineup doesn't provide. As part of the KB Lake update, Gigabyte has introduced 10 models, with a choice of Core i3, Core i5, or Core i7, with or without support for a 2.5 inches drive, and a Thunderbolt, no AS Media USB 3.1 Gen 2, or non Thunderbolt, but, with AS Media USB 3.1 Gen 2, option. Gigabyte sampled us the bare bones version of the GBBK7 Ha 7500. We completed the configuration using a Samsung SSD 950 Pro 512GB SIM.2 Key 3.0X Fornum SSD and 2x16GB Crucial Ballistics Sport LTDDR SODIMS. Though the SODIMS are capable of operating at 2400 MHz, the bricks set it to operate at 2133 MHz. The specifications of our review configuration are summarized below. The GBBK7 Ha 7500 come with a CD and a read-only USB key containing Windows drivers. In any case, we ended up installing the latest drivers downloaded off Gigabyte's product support page. In addition to the main unit, the other components of the package include a 65W, 19 volts at 3.42A, adapter with a US power connector, a VESA mount, along with the necessary screws, a driver CD and USB key, and a quick start guide. The unit also supports a 2.5 inches drive. The appropriate SATA cable, data and power together in the typical notebook form factor, is pre-installed inside the main unit, as can be seen in the gallery below. The metal frame on the inside of the bottom lid, which holds the 2.5 inches drive in place, also has a thermal pad position to aid in the dissipation of heat from an EM.2 SSD used in the system. In the table below, we have an overview of the various systems that we are comparing the Gigabyte GBK7 Ha 7500 against. Note that they may not belong to the same market segment. The relevant configuration details of the machines are provided so that readers have an understanding of why some benchmark numbers are skewed for or against the Gigabyte GBK7 Ha 7500 when we come to those sections.